Hello guys, this is Sushant and welcome to your channel which is Sci Engineers. So guys who have just recently given their exams for the MHCET, you need to now prepare for your engineering. So this particular video is going to be addressing on the topic of engineering mathematics 1. So in this video we are going to be dealing with the topic of expansions of functions. So let's get going with this particular video. So before that do like our videos, do share our videos and do hit the subscribe button and do hit the bell icon which is just beside the subscribe button. This is to never miss a notification of the videos which we are uploading. So let's get going. So expansion of function basically deals with representation of various functions in the terms of increasing powers of x. That means we are just going to be representing the function in the terms of a polynomial function. This representation is done with the help of something which is called as a Maclaurin series or a Taylor series. The first series which we are going to be seeing in this is called as a Maclaurin series. Now Maclaurin series states that if I need to represent a function in terms of the increasing powers of x, that means in a polynomial function, then it is represented by the terms that is f of 0 plus x into f dash of 0 plus x squared by 2 factorial f double dash of 0 plus x cubed by 3 factorial f the fourth derivative of 0 and so on so if you so you can see that it's basically going to be the increasing terms of so you can see that it is nothing but the increasing degrees of x and we have the division by the degrees factorial that is if i have a square term it is two factorial if it is a three three cubic term then it is a three factorial if it is raised to four then it is going to be four factorial and the corresponding derivative of the function and substituting x is equal to 0 in it. So using the basic definition, we can represent any function in terms of increasing powers of x. So let's see how to apply this thing. So the question is talking about finding the Maclaurin series for the sine x function. So here, my function that is f of x is nothing but equal to sine x. Now if you see, the, uh, now if you just check out the terms which are there, we need f of 0. That means I need to just substitute x as 0 in this equation. So if I do that, I will be getting f of 0, which is nothing but sine 0, which is 0. Now, if you see the rest of the terms, it is nothing but the derivative of f of x. So let's find the derivative. So f dash of x becomes nothing but cos x. And if I substitute x as 0 in that, we'll be getting f dash of 0, which is nothing but equal to 1 because cos 0 is 1. If I find the second derivative, that is f double dash, it's going to be minus sin x and f double dash of 0 is going to be 0. If we find the third derivative, it's going to be equal to minus cos x and the third derivative at x is equal to 0 is going to be nothing but minus 1. If we find the fourth derivative, it is going to be again coming back to sine x. And the fourth derivative at x is equal to 0 is going to be nothing but 0. Let's find the final one that is f of 5. The fifth derivative of the function, it's going to be again going to cos x. And the fifth derivative at x is equal to 0 is equal to 1. So what you see is that we are getting the alternate zeros and we are getting alternate 1 and minus 1. So if you just substitute inside this Maclaurin series, you will be getting the expansion of sine x which is nothing but equal to, so you have the f of 0 term. So f of 0 is nothing but 0. The next term is 1, so it becomes x. So the first term is basically x. 
next term you can see the double derivative is again a zero so this term becomes zero so we have to go for the fourth term that is the cubic term so it's going to be having the coefficient of minus one so it is minus x cube by three factorial the fourth derivative is again a zero so that is why you have to go to the fifth term so using the same logic since we are finding the fifth since we are writing the fifth derivative term the fifth derivative term corresponds to the fifth degree of it so that is why x raised to 5 upon 5 factorial and the coefficient is obviously 1 and this is going to be a positive now we have not written the next terms but you can guess it from this uh, arrangement of terms we have the first term as x the next term as x cube by 3 factorial and x raised to 5 by 5 factorial so it's basically nothing but the odd degrees which we are getting. So the next term is going to be obviously x raised to 7 by 7 factorial. And the next thing which we observe is it is always positive negative. So alternate plus minus. So this is going to be a minus term. And this is going to be an infinite term. So basically Maclaurin series or the series which we are going to be seeing are going to be all infinite series for various degrees of x. So this is nothing but the expansion of sin x in terms of x. You can similarly find for the other functions like cos x, tan x, cosec x, sec x and so on. So this is just a basic of how to use and how to find the Maclaurin series for the standard functions. In the next video, we are going to be discussing on how to use the expansions which we already know to find various other complicated functions. So stay tuned for that. Do not miss that. Do subscribe to our channel. So thank you guys for watching this video. Do let us know in the comment section how do you find these videos. Do let us know what more videos you would like us to make on. In the next video, we are going to be discussing on the various applications of the expansion of functions to find for many complicated functions like the multiplication, the division of two standard functions. So to get that, do subscribe to our channel, do like our video, do share it with your friends and do hit the bell icon which is just beside the subscribe button. This is just to not miss any notification of the videos which we are going to be uploading. So I am Sushant who is associated with Samartha Vidya classes and I have been teaching for the past five years for the engineering students and also for the 11th and 12th science students. If you want to inquire about our online classes, do feel free to contact us at, at the number which is shown below that is 9819721569. This is our WhatsApp number so you can just message us and we will get in touch with you.